we're here with the... <laughs> <laughs> That's the entire interview. Take 511. See you next time. See you next time. Okay. So this is Matt with Lady Obscure Music Magazine, and I'm here with Olaf and Elise. Oh, wait. Olaf, Olaf. Elise from Emirate, and we are here in Manchester, New Hampshire, and they're going to be performing tonight at Jewel Nightclub with the Butcher Babies, yeah. and uh, they're Jeez. just starting their next U.S. tour. It's been, what, a few dates so far? Yeah, it's been, what, four shows. Four shows? I think I said five at the show yesterday, but that was probably <laughs> Me wrong. too, and I never thought we were at the sixth. Yeah, that's but We have three days off in New York, so that made us a little bit confused. I heard, I, I heard there was a lot of uh, fun going on in New York, a lot of uh, shopping and drinking and sightseeing. Are you talking about me? Both of you. Well, we were not <laughs> drinking that I much, uh, at least on the other hand. <laughs> no, I was actually with my cousin, like she lives there, with a girlfriend. She works as a model, so I got into that, you know, her her kind of lifestyle, which I guess models in New York, like, have the craziest life. It's fun. It's just very different from, especially <laughs> from our life. Gotcha. But it's, uh, I had lots of fun. I was exhausted though. And uh, and you saw the Statue of Liberty. And I didn't. I didn't go there. You didn't go. No, to I didn't do any sightseeing. You, you I just like party. You guys. Yeah, we were shopping. Went sightseeing quite heavily. Nice. Uh, now the shows have been going good so far with the Butcher Babies. I know it's it's kind of a strange bill, where but it kind of makes sense in a way because you're both uh, popular bands right now with a serious octane. <laughs> Crowd. Ah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I know you both get a lot of airplay on there, so the the bill makes sense that you two would tour together. Yeah, sure, and I, I guess we're both up and coming bands, and they're very energetic, but they're energetic in a very different way. Yes. They're like very like that, and we're energetic and a little bit more <laughs> disco kind of. Kind of <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> they're more well, well, sorry for cutting in, but well, we. Oh, <laughs> Don't forget the band Lullwater that's actually opened up yes, for us. Yes. They are not to be forgotten. And Carry we're, on. We're, yes. we're a Lullwater from? Uh, are they from Seattle? I think they're no, from Seattle. No, I don't know, I think. Yeah. America! America! From America. From America. America without, so. the, uh, <laughs> without the A. No, but it's, it's, it's a great touring package so far. Everybody's uh, really nice and uh, they've been doing a really good job warming up mm -hmm. the crowd before Excellent. we go on stage and I guess that's the objective for a warm up band so yeah. so it's been really cool awesome and now you uh, you have a uh, somebody filling in for Jake uh, this tour mm -hmm. uh, it's Chris from uh, is it Smash Smash into Smash pieces. pieces Smash into Pumpkins <laughs> mm. or Smash to Diesel Smashing into Pumpkins uh, smash smash into into pumpkins. Smashed into Pumpkins Smashed into Pieces <laughs> Smash, and, smash into pieces, exactly. And uh, so Jake is back home. He, he was, was he not able to do the I don't tour? think you want to know. Okay. You shouldn't ask those okay. kind of questions. We'll cut that out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. No, but he, he's uh, he's home with his uh, daughter, having some father-daughter kind of time. Aye. Since like, we've been touring extensively since he was born, more than half, one and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. And he, I guess, he missed uh, out on a lot of you know the different steps of her development. So. Probably it's really nice for him to to put you. We don't a bit know because we're of his life, almost the only two, actually three that does not have kids in the band. No, yeah. yeah, it's fifty fifty now. But I guess it's that age, you know. Everybody's getting kids except me and all of them. Joe wants it for But I guess like next time we're gonna have a step in on bass, and the year after that probably is <laughs> guitar step in. We can start that up can... from tonight. So it's Perfectly fine. Then you can maybe you can maybe take my part. I'll take the, your the time. I it's time for me. Okay. You look well, sort of. Yeah. I, I, I can, you can do that. I can put singing. in on the long dress and put I, my uh, <laughs> put my knee up on Heinrich's. Uh... Oh yeah. You know all the moves I already. I do. Yeah. I already yeah. know the okay, moves. Well, there you I have go. It all down. Yeah. That's, it's all set up, man. That's fun. Perfect. But Chris is doing well and gelling with the band, and I know he's performed with you before oh. in. Uh, in Sweden. In Sweden. Yes. He's doing well. He's a little bit freaked out about us <laughs> and our way of, you know, socializing in the tour bus. No, but <laughs> no, he's he's doing great. He's a, he's a really really good singer. He's very very stable. He has a great pitch. He has a great right. attitude. He's a little bit of a different singer than, than Jake in terms of, you know, the tone of his voice. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm really, you know, I got him adjusted to it. You know, 
Jake is not coming back. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's, he's, he's great. He's doing a great job so far. Absolutely. Great. I now, think I'm also very happy with him. Awesome. He's, in, he's a perfect partner. We have so much fun. It, it, like, the biggest issue was to not... Uh, <laughs> To not, you know, be too friendly to each other on stage because we have like this... Uh, not too friendly? Extreme, no, but I mean like, the way you are towards each other, like as buddies, you know? Yes. Like when we're... <laughs> well, like, you know, we have our thing. And then you, you go on stage and you kind of... Oh, what's wrong with you there in the corner? He's laughing at me. <laughs> I don't know what his, his mind thinks. I think he's still thinking about the too friendly part. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, not that kind of friendly. Okay, yeah. anyways, you know what I mean. Well, so when we go on stage, we still have this like kind of you know characters that we step into, mm -hmm. and I when I see him, I always start laugh. So. <laughs> so now, so now that you have Chris stepping in for this tour, but you gained back an original, uh, well, not original member, but you gained back. Hendrik! Hendrik! <laughs> Woo! He is back and. What uh, fucking do? Yeah. <laughs> I could not be more thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're a father now? Yeah. And a big daddy. Big daddy? Big daddy. Yeah. So you changed congratulations a lot. to you. So Welcome much. back. And yeah. So it's great seeing you again. Uh, but as far as. What's going on now? You have a new album out of B sides, uh, doing some uh, acoustic tracks. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's what you're touring. This tour is, True. or is it still uh, well, a massive? Well, to be addictive? honest, we never we don't play the acoustic uh, songs live, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Even though that would have been a great idea, <laughs> but uh, maybe on the next tour. But sure. uh, we're still on Yeah Massive Addictive and like you said the B-sides, mm -hmm. even though we don't play any of those songs. And you have... Uh, the way they are on the B-sides. Yes. Mm -hmm. Breaking Point could be a cool uh, live uh, song, I think. Yeah, we played it actually once. What? Yes. I don't remember that. What it was, was that? Uh, in Japan. We played it exactly one time. Uh, the first time we played in Tokyo. No. Yes, we, we had to play all the songs that we had and we had You're 12 songs plus the two, uh, two bonus tracks. So we actually did play it once. And both yeah. for, for me and Elise, who wrote the, the Breaking Point song, mm -hmm. it's still, you know, one of our, you know, not, yeah. I won't say favorite, but it's, it's a song that we really, really like. Yeah. I think it has one of the best verses and pre-choruses of, mm. you know, any Amaranth song, actually. So, it, I think one of the reasons why we chose this, uh, the title for the EP or for the A-Track thing was because we wanted to, you know, kind of push that song to be able to put it into yeah. to the live set, because now people will start to... Yeah. It's Joe's idea, Maybe actually. It was the first and last idea. Then, yeah, that yeah. The first and last. Huh? <laughs> well, that's. I <laughs> still not got paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> the idea is stop. <laughs> so when it, when it comes to the uh, the massive addictive album, is that still uh, doing well as far as getting more exposure? Uh, I know you had uh, a, a new uh, single? single, the Digital World, and that was played on. Uh, Octane, yeah, yeah, yeah. Serious Octane uh, was playing that, and it seems like you guys are still climbing up and, and still out there and, and getting attention. Yeah, yeah. And the funny thing that you mentioned it was that we saw, I think it was yesterday or maybe earlier today, that we we're actually back on. I'm not sure if you've seen the metal by numbers charts. I actually forget who is doing that, but you can kind of see, you know, which albums, metal albums, are currently selling, and we actually just got back onto that list. I think, you know, has a lot to do with us being out on tour in America again. Mm -hmm. But it's really nice to see the album still, you know, going pretty strong yeah. after after the entire year, mm -hmm. you know, of, of being released. So, but th this tour is also about <clears throat> building for the future yes. and for for an upcoming album. Excellent. Well. And also to cover. The territories that we did not have the chance to play exactly. on the previous tours. Kind of like tonight and last night in Connecticut. Yeah, I think that they're every like night except four or five. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you played in. I mean, you played in New York, but you did do Connecticut, which was an uh, interesting experience. I heard it was a uh, haunted uh, town, kind of. Yeah. Well, that's just all of being. Out. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was really, really cool looking. Let's just, well, just leave it at that. I, I saw some cool. pictures. I yeah. thought it felt like you were in a movie. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it was. I usually, if a place feels haunted, you kind of you know pick it that up pretty quickly. But I actually had some pretty good vibes from from that time. Mm. 
That's interesting. It was I just wouldn't like, be surprised if a zombie showed up, though. No, I mean... That wouldn't be like, I wouldn't be like, oh my god, there's zombies in this town. I would be like, oh yeah, of course there's zombies here. <laughs> Me and Henrik were out <laughs> taking a walk, and one of the houses in this small residential area actually had like... What was it, Henrik? It was a warning sign on the door said, you know, said, like, warning zombie area. Zombie zone, yeah. Zombie zone. <laughs> I was like, is that a Halloween decoration or are they actually being serious? I was we not sure. We saw an old lady on the terrace when we walked back. It was after 12 o'clock. It was super dark. And she was like pale and silver colored, uh, gray hair. She was just sitting there. I don't know if that weed. was a lady actually. <laughs> was it? <laughs> I mean, it was, was a, lady, it a lady, but yes, it's just that's like. The question. It was a stoner. It was a stoner lady. Yeah, yeah, that's what, what that? Joan thinks, that she was out there smoking weed. I think that it could be a ghost. It could be a ghost? I think okay. Martin freaked out a little bit too. <laughs> and this was and our shower room. Manager. You guys have to see this. That was our shower room yesterday. <laughs> that is very... That's really bizarre. It looks like a uh, Amityville, Amityville Horror type uh, house. It looked yeah. worse than it was though. <laughs> and the, it was so cool when the leaves were blowing, you know, the wind. Like completely quiet, and but they have these uh, tingling sounding. Uh, yeah, what are they what called? Are, what are they I called? Forget. Oh, the uh, chimes. Like, chimes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and then the the, the grey lady. <laughs> we said hi, but she didn't answer back. We no, she was busy like, smoking. She smoking. <laughs> <laughs> she was sitting there. She was stoned beyond recognition. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, obviously the Halloween have a lot of episode. Fantasy. Now, when it comes to the tour, uh, how has the turnout been so far? There's been a lot of diehards that come to see you that you've seen before and come to every show that you guys play. And I recognize a lot of people in the audience. Yeah, yeah. 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 In the places that, that we have played before, and, and also like in Atlanta, I guess. Mm -hmm. But the turnout, turnout yeah. in Atlanta, I mean, it's been almost a year since uh, we played there, so um, I would say that it was a lot more than the last time. So that's pretty cool. Great. It was almost five people, actually. <laughs> Yeah, but the, the, the turnout was really was good. Was that including a bunch of babies? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, speaking of Atlanta, uh, just to go off on uh, just for a short while with Dragonland, you just played yeah. Dragonland. <laughs> Elise also just played, actually. I know, I saw that. We, uh, we missed that show, but we did get to see you guys twice in Atlanta, yeah, yeah, right. which was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, under strange circumstances with mm -hmm. the visas and, and everything with Dynasty, but still it was amazing that we got to see you guys twice. Uh, although we did miss Elise on lead vocal and uh, co-lead vocals. In, yeah, in Sweden. In, yes, we, mm -hmm. us we Americans, we have to wait for that. Yeah. Someday. 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 In 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys haven't played that much as far as Dragonland, as far as live shows. No, we never played in the States before, so it was really cool to finally be able to do that after existing for 15 years or something like that. Mm -hmm. so, so that was a dream come true, and it's always fun to travel with those guys as well. Yeah. Because they are not as jaded and bitter <laughs> as, <laughs> as all the other guys. I, I'm, this not, I, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not bitter whatsoever. I mean, I came to the conclusion that the reason I do this is just because the free alcohol and the rest can just go fuck it. So <laughs> you can call me on that. Uh, so, so you see there's him. another. Yes, that's the guy over here. He's he's very uh, jaded. excited. He's very so jaded. Excited. No, he's not jaded. He's just too stoned to speak. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> <laughs> Speak. He's an expert on drinking. He's a drinking expert. <laughs> He's an expert on drinking Mike's hard lemonade. Exactly. <laughs> what are those? They're pretty good actually. Lemonades. But are these hard lemonade? Are they like popular here in the, in the states? They, uh -oh. yes, yeah, the, a lot of people that don't drink beer drink those. Yeah. <laughs> I like beer. <laughs> you drink both. Yeah. You drink both. <laughs> and then there are people that drink both. <clears throat> That's a commercial from Mike's Hard Lemonade. Uh -oh. There you go, there you go. Uh, oh, like, <laughs> send us a buck, couple of bucks. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, Be we there. need a uh, sponsorship from Mike's Hard Lemonade. Oh, the alcohol in them? Yeah, any alcohol companies, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
duh. But uh, as far as the rest of the tour, now how many uh, how many more weeks? Three weeks, I think you had said? Yeah, three and a half, almost four. Okay. So we're going to Canada next, I think Toronto. Montreal is the next show. No, yeah, Montreal. Montreal is the next one. Well, so, well you're close to, uh, closer there now where you're up in New Hampshire. Yeah, uh, than last time. Yeah, it's going to be not too bad of a drive. And the pre-sales look amazing in Montreal, and it's uh, we've been really super great every time we play there. So expectations are high. Fantastic. Joan is also high. But that's a different story. <laughs> that's a different well, high. Uplifting. <laughs> Uplifting. That's your words. <laughs> uh, you know, I do have to say, though, that for Lady Obscure magazine, that one of the most watched videos are always our interviews. Really? I always get a lot of comments where people, uh, my boss, Nem, uh, always says that my interviews with you guys are always the most watched and people comment on them. So it's, it's always a pleasure to be, get to sit down and it always turns into chaos, of course. Yes. <laughs> that's I guess expected. that's we know you so well. That's right. Kind of. Imagine kind being of. the tour manager of this band. Oh. I can't even imagine. But I thought like it's hard to top the last interview. I, th I believe so. We should so. have had more bras hanging. Th there should have been bras stuff. hanging from oh, the wait. ceiling. What about calzonier? Fuck. Underwear. <laughs> what a male Box underwear. Of there. Yeah. Somebody's underwear Box is going to be hanging from the ceiling. Hopefully it doesn't have any stains. Yeah, I think so. Stained boxers. <laughs> Stained awesome. boxers. And they would be like falling down in your on your head and you'd be like... Whoa. Yay. Now, I mean, instead of just like using the female clothes, I thought it would be fun to also, like, just to have bo men's boxers. Men's boxers, because yeah, you don't know what sexuality the people in this band have. Hmm. It's normal. Oh, and, <laughs> and we Mike's just lemonade. fucked all of them. And that's more Mike's lemonade. <laughs> Hello. All right, so now we're. <laughs> So after <laughs> after this tour, what's next for you guys? What are you gonna? That's when you're gonna start writing the new album. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we already started to do a lot of concepts, and I already have like a billion ideas. I'm sure Elise has that as well. And um, yes, we're just kind of gonna get, get into heavy, you know, writing mode. It's gonna be really exciting to see what what comes up. And I guess like you know a little 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 tiny bit of free time during um, like Christmas and New Year's Eve, but. We already had a little bit of time off in, you know, September and a little bit in October as well. So we're really eager to, you know, start to working heavily on the next record. We're gonna play, you know, it's been a couple of years now. Yeah, I mean, I guess it was like uh, a year and uh, maybe three, four, f actually one year and five months since we wrote the last song for Massive Addicted. Yeah, it's funny how time flies. It does. It seems like the album yeah. just came out. Yeah, wow. it actually. I mean, it's, it has been, you know, been pretty active, and we obviously released. Uh, a single quite recently from it as well, so it feels a bit strange to, to write new music, but it's not going to feel strange to release the album in like a year-ish or something like that. And you just did a nice segue when you said that you just released a video. Exactly. So Very intentional. A, tell us about the new video. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, <laughs> it's um, it's very closely related to, uh, to the story and the, the theme and the message that we're trying to convey yourself. Yeah, in, in the music. And um, I think it's all about um, trying to visualize and realize your goals and work as hard as possible to try to attain them and even if those that work you know leads you somewhere completely different that does not have to be a negative thing it can even be a, you know a positive thing mm -hmm. the most important thing is that you keep fighting for your dreams and never let go that's a great uh, absolutely great uh <laughs> That's a Martin Luther King speech. Actually. Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Now, you went back to your old school where you where uh, I started dancing. Where you started yeah, dancing. Sing, theater and, and, and vocal. Yeah, I did. And how was that? Going oh, back that was. Uh, I was very nervous actually. Really? Yeah, it was uh, like three years, extremely hard work. I had I went through rough t times in my life that was probably it was both the most fun and the most like hard period in, in my life so a lot of memories come back and also I was extremely good 
ballet dancer. My teacher like forced me to become a professional ballet and she was like, you cannot not dance ballet, you like, have to do it. I was like, no, I want to be a singer because I love to write music and yeah. you know, to, you can get your message through being a dancer also, but it's probably more like uh, clear if you speak, mm -hmm. sing, like you can get your message through by... So that probably voice, suits yeah. my uh, personality better. And I realized that, I mean, like, my t I met my old teacher also, and she was lifting my leg, and she held her ear, and she, and she was like... I was like, you can let it go, because I used to be able to keep it there, without anyone holding it, you know? Mm -hmm. I was like, she was like, are you sure? Like, when, when was the last time you actually took dance classes? I was like, well, a couple of years ago, probably 10. She was like, I can't let it go, you're gonna get so hard, like, it's gonna hurt so much. I was like, please, try, I wanna see if I can do it still. And she let it go, and it was like... Ooh. <laughs> Fell down. I was like, no. <laughs> but that is just like it's like any kind of muscle, of course. Uh, it's fresh, uh, fresh water. You have to keep it up. Yeah, exactly. But you, if you it's know, not like riding a bike because yeah. riding no, no. a bike is easy. Doing that shit is hard. So. Yeah. <laughs> but if I would go back to classes, if I would like, you know, a couple of months, I would probably be able to do it again. I... Because the body has a muscle memory, and I love that. Yes. So I always think that. Yeah, I can go back to it whenever I want. But also, if I would have chosen that career, I would have been retiring probably right now. That's true, yeah. It's not a longevity. No, because it, it's so hurtful for the body. Yeah. yeah. No, Bon Jovi can't do that shit. <laughs> yeah, Bon Jovi can't do the uh, kicks and uh, the splits anymore, so either. So, so yeah. I kind of wish that we recorded this video like uh, five years ago. <laughs> when we did the Amra thing. I actually did dancing, but we yeah. cut it out. Then I would have been. More impressive, but, uh, and now they had a matter. they had a big uh, picture of you on the wall. Yes. That, so that must have been nice to see that they remember you and. Yes, uh, and they still they, have it. Um, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> and it's fun because everybody was like, "Whoa, is that you?" Oh, we always thought like, "Who's that girl from the splits on the wall?" <laughs> and now Jake uh, did his uh, part of the video with his hockey team, mm -hmm. which he's very passionate about hockey yeah of course uh, <laughs> so that was a cool part of the beer I, I just thought it went really well together both the performance parts how it was like melded together seeing the, the little kids seeing Jake's daughter mm -hmm. you know it was just cool to see how that all came together it came together really well because I, I already liked the video in its conceptual yeah. stage I th thought it was a really really you know sweet and cool idea but mm -hmm. it, it could also have come off you know very cheesy obviously yeah but there was something you know honest something honest about it something honestly touching mm -hmm. I, <clears throat> and after watching the first time it's like pr pretty much the only time where I went like yeah I really like this video instantly it's probably because we're not in it <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, I, but it's just I think that was one complaint that there was not enough Henrik in it I think that was a complaint that I, I had seen. Yeah, because Henrik's part in that song is like the best part he does in the entire album. <laughs> and after that comment, his mother is banned from him. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yes, uh, but yeah, it's a fantastic video, so I, you. I just wanted to mention that again. And hopefully you. people will watch it on YouTube. And what was the name of the song is True. True. Yeah. You know? So we wanted to make sure that people go on YouTube and get, you know, watch the video, share it on Facebook and Twitter and mm -hmm. Twitface and, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all those things. <laughs> all social media platforms and yeah. MySpace. MySpace. <laughs> Is there still a MySpace? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you know people need to check out the uh, the song and now is I heard that the the album is going to be just like a digital release only. The, yes and no. Song. I mean, it, it's actually it is a digital only release, but on this specific tour kit, you can actually buy it physically from a guy called Mafa. He's bald and he's big and he has a big beard. <laughs> Can't miss him. Not possible. <laughs> Excellent. Well, in in closing, so you guys can get ready for the show. Anything you want to tell the uh, the hundreds or tens of people that are <laughs> watching right now? The tens of people that are watching this video all ten of you we <laughs> fucking love you thank you so much for supporting us it yes. really means a lot to us I, I promise it means super much to us all ten of you thank you yeah whatever <laughs> and no I, but thank you thank you and thank you and i want to say thank you to you guys for always taking the time out and doing the interviews and of course. you know it always it's dinner. always fun and dinner and 
you know, we always have a, a great time, and I'm glad to see you guys again. So uh, good luck on the show tonight. I know you won't need luck, but have a great show, and they'll be rocking your town soon. Yes, so. be there. We love you. <laughs> Hearts and Illuminati. Amaranth AIDS. <laughs> yes. No, don't mention that. It's gonna be <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs>